Hey, Evangelist Rob here of Rob Woods Ministries. I'm positioned, and I believe you are too, the entire body of Christ to take in more souls in the next 20 years than in the last 2,000 years. Friends, we're believing that at least a billion souls are going to come into the kingdom of God for the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ now. Before I continue, it'd be an honor if you'd subscribe to the ministry channel. Thank you in advance so much. Hit the like button. Comment if you agree with me. Hit the like button if you're in agreement. If you want to be a harvester, if you want to be a soul winner, Paul said, he who wins souls is wise. If you want to be a wise guy, well, that's a saying in the world, or a wise girl, if you want to win souls for Jesus, Sign up right now. Hit the like button. Hit, the, hit you know, comment if you want to be in, counted into the army of the Lord. You want to be enlisted as an evangelist. You know, one thing about all believers of the Lord Jesus Christ, all believers are ministers of the gospel, and all believers are evangelists. And they may not be an evangelist in a sense like in Ephesians chapter 4, because a true evangelist doesn't just win souls. He coerces and implores and imparts a ministry and mantle and fire and passion for others to win souls. He ignites the flame for people <clears throat> to get outside the four walls of the church where it really counts and do this stuff. Jesus said the last thing before he left the earth, friends. He said, go ye into all the world. What's your world? It's, you don't have to get on an airplane and go to Africa and go, now nah, that Lord may call you to do that if you have a missionary calling. But your neighbor or people you see on a regular basis is your world. That's your sphere of influence. The Bible says first Judea, then Samaria, then Jerusalem, then, for, I'm sorry, first Jerusalem, Samaria, and then the uttermost parts of the earth. So your backyard first, then your fear of influence might, you know, become larger. It may be the town or county or state, and then national, and then entire globe. Who knows what God's called you to? But let me just say this. There's power evangelism, where you go out with power. You're in prayer. You're praying for souls. You're doing this stuff. You're just going out to share the God. It could be at a local town. We do that on Long Island here many times. We just go out in the streets and just start preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ, laying hands on people if they want and allow us to. And then there's signs and wonders evangelism. There's prophetic evangelism where you move in the prophetic, maybe the word of knowledge, word of wisdom, prophecy. Uh, and friendship evangelism is the number one way people come to Jesus Christ. Friendship evangelism is this. You see people, maybe not on a daily basis, but weekly basis, several times a month, every day. You're, you're friend, and you they come to Jesus in six. They go from a one to a two to a three to a four to a five. No one goes from a one to a ten or a two to an eight or a three to an. You know, understand what I'm saying? People get saved like an they, they get the layered like an onion. So the Bible says some sow, some water, but God brings the increase. So. You know, you may come along and someone's just ready to be harvested. They're just ripe. And, you know, they you, they may get saved under your auspice. So you, you, God may use you as an extension of him in the kingdom of God to win them. They may confess Jesus and be converted. But someone came before you and started sowing seeds. And then the seeds are watered by the Lord and the Holy Spirit. Now, no one can come to the Lord unless the Holy Spirit enables him. And we can't really convert nobody. All we can do is deliver the mail. You know, God's the mail man. We deliver the mail. We're called to deliver the package. And you've got to know the gospel. The gospel is very simple. You've got to learn how to articulate it, maybe in 20 seconds, maybe in two minutes, and you may be with someone for 15 minutes. But the gospel is simple. Man is born separated from God due to original sin. Jesus is the only way back. Christ is the mediator between God and man. If you want to get to the Father, you got to go. And you got to put it in, put it in your spiel or your pitch, let's say, like a salesman. There's no other way I could put it. You've got to put it and whittle it down into your imagination and the vocabulary the Lord would have you give. 
Now, we don't want to put God in a box, but the gospel is the power of God unto salvation. Paul said, woe is me if I don't preach the gospel. Jesus went about preaching the gospel of the kingdom. John said, repent, the kingdom of God. That we've got to present the gospel. Don't preach your church, your pastor. Preach the gospel. Now, it's your story. And the Lord's story, you can use your testimony. The Bible says you overcome by the blood of the Lamb, the word of your testimony. Just some simple tips, tips here I've learned on evangelism and that I teach and instruct and train people to use in the streets to be effective soul winners. For the Lord. Now, here's another key as we're closing. You may want to suggest and ask, them, hey, if you were to pass on and die, God forbid, one day or even tonight you get hit by an airplane. I don't know. It's a little joke. But would you make heaven your home? If the person says yes, and then they, they say, why? Because I'm a good person. If they say they're a good person and they're good enough to outdo what God's already done, you know right away they're standing on their own morality and works. And they're not born again because a true person that's born again would simply say, I've met Jesus Christ. I've had an encounter with him. And they realize and have an understanding that it's by grace and not by works, salvation's a gift. So just some simple, basic keys. I mean, I'm, we're believing, hallelujah. We're going to win more souls in the next several decades than in 2,000 years. Let me pray for you that you could have this mantle be a soul winner. Father, I'm asking you, I'm praying for everyone under the sound of my voice that they could go fishing. That's not fishing in the natural, it's fishing for souls of men. Father, use them mightily, empower them, give them strength. I'm asking for an impartation of the soul winner's mantle, the fire of God to come right through this screen and impart the power of the evangelist in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you. Amen.